Submarines are crucial for naval power, they operate stealthily underwater, which makes them difficult to detect. Traditional submarines are made of steel, but titanium offers a compelling alternative. Titanium is much stronger than steel, and is also lighter. Submarines made of titanium can dive deeper and are faster, making them formidable underwater assets. Additionally, titanium submarines are more resistant to damage. However, building titanium submarines is very challenging. Titanium is expensive and difficult to work with, and few countries have mastered this technology. Russia is a prime example. Their experience with titanium submarines highlights the potential and the pitfalls of this advanced technology. Understanding the advantages and disadvantages of titanium is essential, as this knowledge helps us understand the strategic decisions made by navies worldwide. The Soviet Union stunned the world with the Alpha-class submarine in the 1970s. The Alpha-class was the first submarine made entirely of titanium, giving it unmatched underwater performance. It could dive deeper than any other submarine at the time and was incredibly fast, even able to outrun some torpedoes. The Alpha-class was a game-changer, forcing NATO to rethink its anti-submarine warfare tactics. The Soviets intended to use the Alpha class for special missions, including intercepting NATO submarines and attacking aircraft carriers. However, the Alpha class had its drawbacks. It was very noisy, making it easier to detect, and it was also expensive to build and maintain. Only seven Alpha class submarines were ever built. Titanium is a wonder material, but it comes at a price. It is significantly more expensive than steel, making building titanium submarines very costly. The manufacturing process is also complex and challenging. Welding titanium requires specialized equipment and expertise, limiting the number of shipyards that can handle titanium construction. This makes it difficult to build and maintain a large fleet of titanium submarines. Despite these challenges, titanium submarines offer significant advantages. They can operate at depths and speeds unattainable by steel submarines, making them valuable for certain missions, such as intelligence gathering and special operations. However, these capabilities come at a significant cost. Navies must carefully weigh the benefits of titanium against its economic and logistical drawbacks. The U.S. Navy considered titanium for its submarines, but it ultimately decided against it. Several factors influenced this decision. Cost was a major concern. Titanium submarines were simply too expensive to build and maintain in large numbers. The U.S. Navy also had different priorities, focusing on stealth, range, and firepower. The U.S. Navy favored a balanced approach to submarine design, opting for advanced steel alloys and innovative hull forms. This allowed them to build stealthy submarines with global reach. The U.S. Navy also invested heavily in quieting technologies, making their submarines much harder to detect. The U.S. Navy's decision to forego titanium submarines was strategic, allowing them to field a larger and more versatile submarine fleet that could address a wider range of missions. This approach has served the U.S. Navy well, maintaining a technological edge in submarine warfare. 